Animal Care Center has been telling Pima County for months that they are beyond critical capacity with dogs in their shelter and the worst case scenario is starting to come true. 13 News reporter Katherine Patterson joining us live from PAC where they're put, having to put out some dogs. Katherine, how many dogs are on the euthanasia list tonight? Yeah, Dan Brooke, 11 of those dogs are scheduled for this week and three of them have a deadline for today. <laughs> 541. That's how many dogs are staying the night at PAC tonight. We are getting more dogs than ever before come through our doors, and we are having fewer people come in who are willing to adopt or foster, particularly a large dog. PAC says this is already the busiest time of year for them to receive more dogs. And with some extra hot months extending mating season, there were more puppies than usual, putting more dogs on the euthanasia list. As a community, we need to take care of our animals much, much better. I spoke with a concerned citizen who wished to remain anonymous, who said the communication on deadlines for these dogs on the euthanasia list has been less than ideal. Most recently, with them having concerns on a dog named Oswald. Yesterday, there seemed to be a lot of questioning of whether Oswald um, was euthanized of whether he was allowed some extra time a day more. Unfortunately, Oswald was euthanized in the morning, something community members attribute to the lack of communication over the weekend. If everybody could have better communication and trust the highly volatile um, situation, meaning when there's a life at stake on all levels. PAC says for those interested in saving a dog, especially on the weekends, while social media is a good start, timeliness is everything. Sometimes people try to reach out or call, um, but when a dog's on deadline, the best thing you can do is just come down because an hour can make a difference for a dog. And more community involvement could be the difference between life and death. One of the greatest things about PAC2 is once we have our census deadlines get instituted, if our community rallies together and lowers our capacity back down to 450 dogs, we will remove all of the census deadlines at that time. And for any of the dogs on the urgent placement list, they don't have to be adopted. They can be fostered as well. If you're interested in seeing the full list of dogs on the urgent placement list, you can head over to our website at KOLD.com. Reporting live in Pima County, Katherine Patterson, 13 News. Thank you.